Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us at the Old County Courthouse. I'm Board Chairman Kevin Ruane. Here with me is Lee County Manager Dave Hardner. We have some important updates regarding the FEMA's decision that we just announced. Unincorporated Lee County residents who have national flood policies will be able to retain their discount. It's been a long, tough process, and I could assure everyone in Lee County that this staff has done a great job in making sure we retain their discount. We know how important it is um, when you look at the complications of Hurricane Ian and everything that went along with it and the number of permits that we actually issued. It is mind-boggling to think how we're able to get people back in their homes safely and quickly, but also to maintain their discount. I'll now turn it over to our county manager, Dave Hartner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As you all recall, um, earlier this year in March, we received notice from FEMA that they had planned to retrograde Lee County, um, retrograde the discount that Lee County residents enjoy for the flood insurance policy. Um, about an hour ago, we received a call that uh, FEMA has made the decision that unincorporated Lee County will maintain its um, community service radio or community radio system of five. We'll also maintain the national flood insurance policy um, discount. This means that uh, FEMA determined unincorporated Lee County residents with policies issued under the NFIP will keep the 25% discount. It also ensures that federally backed mortgages and that the federal disaster assistance in times of emergency. This is very good news for unincorporated Lee County. Uh, the news follows many, many months of work that our county staff has committed to this, to, to getting to this position today. Um, our staff was able to provide all the requested documents uh, we submitted a corrective action plan before the deadline of November 18th. FEMA found this plan exceeded expectations. Um, they, were, they specifically stated they, they were impressed with the incredible work of our staff. Uh, they specifically stated that because of this hard work of our county, that Lee County is in a better place and our residents, the people are safer to, today. The county also showed that um, we use best practices during Helene and Milton. And what that means is, is that we didn't just put something in writing. We also put it in action. So they were able to see that it wasn't just writing, it wasn't just words. These were real actions that our, our, our staff was able to um, commit and do. Um, it also showed the ability um, to FEMA, uh, well, we, that we were able to adhere to FEMA's community radio system requirements and guidelines. Throughout this process, our board of county commissioners were committed to retaining the CRS rating of five. They were committed to maintaining the discount available to incorporate Lee County residents with MNFIP policies. So I'd really like to thank the board for not only their commitment and, and trust in me, but the trust that they had in our staff to do this job. I'd like to thank the staff for their hard work and dedication. They, they have many, many long days and sleepless nights, many weekends working on this. I'd like to thank FEMA as well for a partnership through this process. They were by us, they're still by us, so it was a great partnership to get to where we are today. I'd like to thank our, I'd like to thank our media partners for continually getting the message out and being here today to share this good news with our community. And I'd like to thank also, finally, thank the residents of Lee County who did the right thing and pulled the permits um, regarding storm damage. So thank you to all those people that helped. Any questions? Can you Yes, any, any, any area outside of a city limit, so North Fort Myers, outside, outside Sanibel, so the Iona McGregor area, right before you get to Fort Myers Beach, Lee High Acres, North Fort Myers, that's all in Incorporated Lee County. Do you know about how many people are impacted by this? We, there are 43,000 plus policyholders and for the NFIP. This is very positive for them. Like I stated, they'll be able to keep their discount. They'll be able to get federally backed mortgages. So those are all good things for our community. Could today's decision positively impact other areas of incorporated Lee County? Um, I know that each municipality has a meeting today. Um, I'm not sure what the outcome is, but I know that is happening. We're all lined up in a row today for those discussions with FEMA. Uh, you would have to reach out to each municipality individually. Uh, when this news first broke about eight months ago, you know, in that first county commission meeting, I know both of you were very impassioned about this. You felt like you were blindsided, a lot of frustration. Then how was it 
then you had to turn back around and work with FEMA that entire time. Uh, what was that relationship like? I think, you know, what most people need to realize is just the number of um, parcels, whether your house, a condo, commercial building, that were impacted by the storm. When you're talking about over 100,000 parcels that were damaged, and if you look at one or two potential permits, there are about hundreds of thousands of permits. So I give staff all the credit in the world for what they did. You know, our objective was to get people back in their homes. You know, no one really ever wants to go through a Category 5. No one wants to go through a storm surge of 15 feet. But when you look at the complications associated with this, you know, we were passionate about we did the right thing, and we knew that we did, and we wanted to continue to demonstrate whatever documentation you all needed, we were going to supply it, make sure that they were comfortable with it. And today's decision just reassures the same passion I had eight months ago and certainly the county manager that we were going to prevail in this. No, I, I'm an optimistic type person, and looking at the dedication we have and the staff that's here and the hard work they did, I was not necessarily that concerned at all. I'm grateful for the work and the hours they put in. It's easy for me to say everything worked out great. I wasn't here morning, noon, and night, weekends, and away from my family. You know, mine was a policy decision. But most importantly, I think you have to look back on the storm. And hopefully you never have to go through something like that. But not only did we do that, but you heard FEMA indicate and clearly say we did above and beyond the normal call of duty. They were very impressed with our workmanship. So those are compliments when you're in really an unusual situation. No one really planned for this. And at the end of the day, we came out really well. Those are FEMA's words. They were not mine, so those were their impressions in interacting with them. When you deal with a federal agency, you don't hear words like that at all. So you take the compliments when you can. It's like going to school when you get an A. You know, your teacher just gives you the grade. You're like, okay, great. But when they go out of their way to elaborate and tell you how well you did, it's just another compliment. And honestly, I can't thank the staff enough for the work they did because it's their work. I mean, they're the ones that had to do the documentation and send it there. But, you know, it's one thing to get a grade and you pass. It's another thing to do very well and exceptional. We're in the exceptional category, and I'm really proud of the staff here. What is the county going to continue to do to keep this going? Well, we're, we're proactive, okay? I mean, like as the county manager indicated, we have a plan, and we were implementing the plan, and we want to continue to get better from this. You know, again, you don't know what you don't know until you go through it. So until you go through it at Category 5, until you go through 15 feet of storm surge, until you get really just buried with permits and people want to get back in their homes, you really don't understand that. But, you know, we rose up to the situation and handled it, and then we had, you know, Helene, and we had Milton. I mean, we had more events in the last two years than you'd ever even dream of. So I am so proud of the staff and all the hard work they did. Um, kudos to each and every one of them. Those are their, their words. You know, the one thing you find out, and again, I go back to the analogy in school, you know, when you get your grade, you're happy. When someone says you did exceptionally well, you generally don't ask, well, what did I actually do? And, you know, federal governments are not like that. So we take the compliment as it was. Again, I can't say thank you enough to the staff here because it was really their work, their dedication, their commitment to make sure we came through with the promise that we made eight months ago. Listen, everybody has a role in this. I mean, I have a flood policy like everyone else. So you have a responsibility. My house got damaged. It's applying for a permit. It's going through the process. It's answering the questions that need to be asked to give the documentation necessary. It's a tedious, very emotionally devastating process you go through. Not only did your home get damaged, but then you're arguing with the insurance company to get the appropriate reimbursement, and you're trying to get your family back into a normal way of living. I don't know what normal is after Category 5 and the damage that we went through. And when this is all said and done, I would not be surprised if this storm was the most costliest storm in the United States history. Thank you all. I appreciate your time. Thank you.